we see the president of America team up with the people in Israel and totally devastating Gaza. And just as one example, I'll give you one example. Almost exactly four years ago, as Israel began its attack on Gaza, September the 27th, 2008, at 11.25 in the morning, Israel began carpet bombing Gaza, and on the first day of a, what was to be a 21-day attack, they dropped 100 tons of bombs. Okay, a one-ton bomb will decimate an entire city block. Gaza is one of the most densely populated places in the world. 800,000 children live in Gaza. 11.25 is exactly the time when the morning school shift and the afternoon school shift change. So all the kids are in the streets. All the children are on the streets. That was the moment decided by the decision makers in Israel to begin the attack. If that's not terrorism, I don't know what is. And this is how the state of Israel manages to control the different populations and somehow still keep up this very sweet liberal kind of face to everything. The Hamas man, them dropping some bombs over there in, in Israel. One nearly leaked down Jerusalem there. But it's amazing. It's amazing. Because Obama wait till as the election done so they send out the command because it's not just Israel alone involved. It's Israel and America because Obama swear allegiance to Israel. Israel is the biggest um, AIDS recipient from America. It's a terrible thing I go on. We see today them say them have a ceasefire. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's uh, them, them people are not easy, though. Know? Them leaders of this world, uh, it's not easy. The man, them are war, you know, and a drop bomb for one another, you know. And at two o'clock, them just stop, drop the bomb. And now them are going to talk. But you are the talking now going to help, you know, because I must all of the, the people them inside a, what we call Palestinian land, them not going to really just take the thing so, because Israel has expanded it, it, it what you call the land base in other people them land, and nobody want to talk about how the occupation of the Palestinian land is what causing the Palestinians them to react that way. You see, when I say why right now, the, 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 the Palestinians, they might do this and I do that against the Israel in them, but who is the first aggressor? That is really where we must look on, really. You know, see, and it's the occupation of land given to a group of people by the British that is causing this years, 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 years of war and devastation that is taking place that might spill over to other countries too. So meanwhile, them looking on Palestine and Israel. Nobody remember that there's a Syrian thing that is taking place over the next side. <laughs> the only way to bring stability and peace to Syria is going to be for Assad to step down. The world will not waver. Assad must go. That Assad has to go. <laughs> and all of this is taking place right in the, the same vicinity of each other, you know. Syria over there, so over here now that the thing I fight and them can't get out the brother. Then now we see it spill over in a Turkey. Then now we look at Iraq and we see Iraq now still a struggle. You know, them broke the, 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 the glass and them never made it, so it they, they broke up, mash up more. So there's not a stable government in Iraq, even though them claim so them leave Iraq. There's not a stable government there. Then there's Afghanistan. And now we see again, because this is a continuous war that is taking place between the Palestinians and the Israeli them and the Americans. Because it's two against one, you know. The two biggest powers them, well not the two biggest powers, but 
the biggest power and its ally is really creating devastation among some people that have a blockade against them with them care every left them country. It is a serious thing. That is like the Akinson and a man say, boy, right now, I'm going to block you in from St. Thomas. I'm going to block you in from St. Andrew. And I'm going to block you in from St. Catherine. And I'm going to block all the seaport them that you can't leave. And that are going for years. Years that are going. So, it's not an easy thing. And people always look upon it like, say, the Israelis is the Israelites of the Bible. So you have a lot of preachers who preach in the name of Israel and refer to God's chosen people. A serious God that God make a whole heap of people upon the earth and then him choose a set of people as him chosen people. <laughs> You know, it's the weirdest thing because when you read uh, 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 Numbers 6, I'm sorry, Genesis, uh, Genesis 6, somewhere about this, uh, it said, uh, the sons of God, capital G-O-D, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fear and took unto themselves wives. And in that day, a giant came upon the land. Now, God, which is the capital G-O-D, the sons of God, sons of God, that means that God did have woolly heap of sons in a them time there. Look down upon the earth and look upon the woman them and say, the daughters of men look good, man. Yes. So, make we imagine some mythological people and look down through the clouds because that is where them all is. I show you all the while. And I talk about God and the angels. You see the angels, them are looked down through the cloud. So make we imagine, in a way, illusion and deluded, demented mind <laughs> that these sons of gods looking through the cloud and looking down upon the daughters of men. The daughters of men now, I don't know is who make them, but God's sons up there look down and see that the daughters of men were looking very fine. So them come through the cloud and take up the people, them woman, the, the, the men, them women, and became husbands. You have a next story now which complicate the whole Palestinian and Israeli concept where them use that part of the Bible to show that the land now that is occupied by the Israelis. Because the Bible never tell about no Israelis, you know, tell about the Israelites. But they have adopted what they call Judaism as their own. The Israelis. They have adopted Judaism as their own. And because they have adopted Judaism as their own, they put themselves in history. This is weird. This whole issue of Israel and Palestine is, is covered in so much myth. And there's so, much, um, there's so much double standard when people talk about this issue. And I'll give you two examples. I don't know if you heard Bibi Netanyahu's speech at the United Nations. I heard it, not live, but after he uh, actually delivered it. And he, began, and he began it with probably the two most striking examples of uh, myth and double standard. And he began by talking about um, the right of return of the Jews to their ancient homeland. And of course, the Jews that returned, so-called, uh, returned to their homeland were not exactly the same Jews who were expelled from their homeland, right? Because these were expelled a couple of thousand years before that. These were not their descendants either, because they, this has, been, this has been a very long time. So these are people, the people that actually came back, so to speak, are people that claim some kind of a heritage, some kind of a connection, a relationship to the ancient Hebrews. They put themselves in a history 4,000 years ago. 
So you're the pro you're, you're the trap now. You're the trap because when them bring this issue to you, you know, and you talk about past now in a church where we preach this issue for sure, you say, boy, right now, a God word, a fulfill where the Israelites must reclaim them land because they are the chosen ones. So you are going to show you now. They're going to show you a place in the Bible where say, maybe you know the story, but I could say it again because this is a key element of what is going on in the so-called Middle East and Africa. Africa it go on, you know, they might call it Middle East, but Africa it go on. The land where them call Israel is in Africa. And Israel really is the name of a person, not the place of a name of a land. But I could say, as to them I call it. But Israel is in Africa. It's not East Africa. It's not the Middle East. So, there was a man named Abraham. And he have a wife named Sarah. He have a sister. He married to him sister. And... Him, him wife couldn't have no picnic. Him wife being a very liberal woman. Tell her husband, say, go, go sleep with the, the maid. The maid was an Egyptian woman. So the maid, in the house, I wash the dish there, man, I cook the food and thing. And maybe a long time, Abraham, I look upon her too, but I'm afraid because him wife, with a, him don't know him wife, I think, but the wife, him go realize about we The wife, I think, nice because she can't have no picnic. So she decides, say, well, all right, no, here one, no, Abraham. Do it, but no, make me see it. <laughs> Just do it, do, because you see that they continue. And you know what? History, write you down as a person will never have no generations out of your body. And I can't give you the picnic, them. So you want to know, in order to perpetuate your seed, that you have a continuous lineage. Sleep with the Egyptian woman and bring a picnic. So he must sleep with the Egyptian woman and the Egyptian woman get pregnant. But meanwhile, the Egyptian woman get pregnant now. He go try a last lick with his wife. And at 90, at the old she get pregnant. <laughs> And that create complication in the house now because, and this is written in the Bible, you know. This is where I talk, what is written in the Bible. But why I am talking this story is to connect it now with what is going on now because this is something that has been brought up in the United Nations by these people. All right. There's a connection here that they are now saying why the land is theirs. Okay. So. The story continues now where after the Sarah, which is the name of the wife, and the, the maid named Hagar, which is an Egyptian woman, the two of them get pregnant. So the wife has said, well, if me get pregnant, me can't allow the Egyptian maid woman to go inherit all our Abraham have. No, 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 no. And my son have inherited. So right away you now she have played the, the, bitchy, the bitchy wife now. A bitchy wife you know, because she allowed the man to go have sex with the woman, you know. But because now she go get pregnant now, she now I go look upon the wife, the, 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 the Egyptian woman picnic and I said, no, 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 outcast, bastard picnic, can't inherit certain things. So she run out the woman out of the house. Now according to the story, this woman named Hagar took her son named Ishmael. Ishmael. And Ishmael, the son of the maid servant of Abraham and his mother was in the wilderness. And out of that lineage come 12 tribes of Ishmael. Now, flashback now to the, the, the son 
that is now of the so-called legitimate wife, lawful wife, which is Isaac. Isaac supposed to inherit where Abraham have because he's the wife. Legitimate Pickney. The other one is a bastard Pickney according to how certain things go. You know, Michael Manley come and reverse that in a Jamaica. Where him come say, no, the per the Pickney outside of the marriage must have the same authority as the Pickney inside of the marriage. Or else the whole are we get naked you now. <laughs> because most Jamaican Pickney born outside, with them call it out of wedlock. Yes, out of any wedding go on, we lock you in. So, the wife of this picnic named Isaac, legitimate picnic according to all the story go. And Isaac have two sons, one named Isla and one named Jacob. <laughs> And according to the story, remember, say we are linked the story, we are going in at the place, you know, you know, this is not no. Nowadays, thing we are work with, you know, we are we are dealing with all the people them deviously, connect it. We are going right now on the occupation of this land. All them connect it for sure them that them legitimately supposed to have the land. I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you and will bless you and make your offspring numerous. For my servant Abraham's sake. Okay, so Isaac growing uh, old, him start kinda get him eyes kinda get dimish like him can't hardly see. Jacob, the younger son, Esau, the older son. Now according to the tradition. Where the Bible tell you about is the elder son must get the blessing. So is Esau supposed to get all of this thing? Because Esau are the older one. But the Muma did prefer the younger son, which was Jacob, the younger son. So when time come now, fe, the blessing come now, Isa, Isaac, I go call up him elder son now, Isa, forget the blessing. But what I'm now is that Isa was a youth where a wool heap of hair upon him skin. You can go back and read it in the Bible if you want to you know. We are tell it how it go, I swear it go. Maybe when I used to see him do and do and do, but I saw, the, I saw the word go. So the, 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 the story go. Esau have a ear skin. Jacob was a smooth skin kind of guy. But the mother did prefer Jacob. But even though Esau did blind, sorry, even though Isaac did blind now, Isaac knew him older son by touching him son. So if him feel the sun and him feel the sun eerie, him say, oh, that one there are Isa. If him feel the other son and the other son smooth skin, him say, oh, that one there are Jacob. Now the mother knowing this, I go trick the father. I a trick thing I go on here, so no, you know. The woman I go kill all the man now and wrap around the sun, the smooth sun skin, when name Jacob. I don't know what she use. What she use? I don't know where she use. Patex. Panada, pan, pan, or whatsoever she use. That stick on the skin. Pan the youth now. When the time come for the blessing now. She carry 
Gia come, who should wrap up with his skin. And the son, the, the, the father who are going blind now, him feel the son and him say, okay, he saw this. Which really a Jacob, he might touch it. But him feel say, he saw. So, he might touch his skin. And he might bless Isa, he might bless Jacob with Isa blessing. So, there is a animosity that got take place now, you know, between Isa and Jacob. Now, if you look on the stories in the Bible, you know, from Cain and Abel to Isaac and Ishmael to Isa and Jacob, there was always some brother animosity that take place. Because God always has set up them people there to do them things there. You know. He always has set them up against one another. You know, see, because God set up Cain against Abel. God set up Isaac, mother against, against Isaac, against Ishmael, mother. And now God now, as she say, a trick we are going And him do, him does love the trick for going on. So Jacob now, get the blessing. And the story go on and on and on and on where some Ammanamacity go on and Esau now start to link with the the, 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 the the tribes of Ishmael and start friend the tribes of Ishmael. Now, according to these people, these tribes, these tribes were called Ishmaelites. It's the Arabs. This is what they must say to you now, you know. They must say, the, the Egyptian woman picked me. Is the Arabs. Isa mix up with them and is the Arabs. Jacob start to know one day my travel and a good man come to him and say, Look, you know, watch out, you have to give me what you have, you know. And he said, Well, I'm not give you nothing. Come take it now. And the man goes up, boom, and start to fight him and Jacob was a blow man, waxed him two times and blew him drop a ground and Jacob overpower him and I kill Jacob, go kill him now, you know. And him said, no, no, don't kill me, man. I, I, you know, say, I, 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 God sent me, you know. <laughs> God sent me for test you, you know. As a matter of fact, I mean him, God. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a God manifestation that go out there, so no, and Jacob said, hey. And the man says, where, where are you doing? And, 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 and Jacob said, I'm mean him, Jacob, you know. So the man have a look on Jacob now and say, Well, you want to know, you see, as from today, you may go call you Israel. Because you have struggled with the angel of the Lord and has overcome. So you have no longer named Jacob, but you name Israel. Ah, Israel. Okay. So now, Israel is the man where we are dealing with now. So remember now, say, you have a set of people who them brandish name Ishmael, who supposed to be the Arabs. And then now you have a next set of people now who mix with the Ara mix with the Ishmaelites named Esau. I we don't know what them call them, Esauites or whatsoever they mix up. And then now you have this man you now named Jacob, who now them call Israel. And out of Israel now, Israel have some woman and no picnic. He may have 12 sons and one daughter. And out of those 12 sons now, Jacob now, which is now called Israel, which is not a land them that talk about now, you know, is a man. Jacob now, I got realize that well, he may also now get blind and he may get sick and thing. He's so dead, he may have high blood pressure and thing. Jacob now, I got to say, Israel will call him son them now and say, Gather, and I shall tell you what shall befall you in the latter days. This story is written now in Genesis 49 where Israel is now going to bless his 12 sons and left out daughter. Polo Kolikomi Fora, now Maso Oma, Obaira Kauna Kunta Furum Sokoe, Ola, Abefo. Kiye jene yake yuda doko musola. Ne urupe doko muso. Ne simeon doko muso. 
ne levi dromuso ne dan dromuso ne neftali dromuso ne asher dromuso ne isakar dromuso ne zabulon dromuso ne selatinamso ne benyamin dromuso That is of no significance to the thing, just like the Church of England today will tell us why right now. Them not allow women to preach. The Church in England now vote against women preaching in the Church, but them do. She say, but wait, oh, the homosexual thing so legitimate, and the woman can't be legitimate because you can't have a homosexual priest are preaching at the Church, you know. And him do have to go in and close it. He can tell them same as a homosexual and still be able to preach in the church. But a woman cannot preach in the church. What kind of madness is that? And is a, is a woman bring the man who become a homosexual who can preach in the church? He may have, have a different link with God. And she now have no link with God. Because she's a woman. So Israel now... Bless him twelve son them. And out of the twelve son come the twelve tribes of Israel. Out of Ishmael come twelve tribes. But the twelve tribes of Ishmael is not recorded in the book that we now call the Jewish Bible, which is the so the Christians call it the Old Testament. But it's really the Hebrew Bible. In the Hebrew Bible is Hebrews a right the story. So them negate to tell you the other side which is the sons of the egyptian woman so you never hear nothing about the ishmaelites because them is outcasts them get chased out now this man when he named israel have 12 sons and what happened now is that because them grandfather did occupy a land that was not theirs, that is, but was given to them by this. And next again, the God, God had looked down in that thing and said, it's a land, eh? we'll kill everybody upon it and take it away. God let him tell Abraham, and let him tell Abraham, see, it's a, that land, flowing with milk and honey, shall be your land. Now, it's really the land of the Canaanites, you know, but you see, because the Canaanites, me not like them, just kill them off, rape them woman, take where you want, and just occupy them land. The, the reason why I'm do that too. Flash back again to us. Out with, with our next man named Noah. We have three sons. And Noah have three sons. Am Shem and Japheth. Apparently, one of the sons look like him the gay. <laughs> because, because him see him father the kid. And I carry to the Bible and cover the father that they can death. I don't know. That sounds kind of weird to me. If God go smite a whole nation because you don't see your father that they and, and why them God man, they're always drunk. Because it's drunk. The man drunk. I lay down naked. And him young son come in there, come see him. Do whatsoever I want to do with him. And then the other brother them come in there and say, catch them. And say, wait, what you do with daddy? And right away, you know, God no curse. This son, where... Go play with him father, you know. Him curse the son of the son, which is the grandson of Noah, which is called Canaan, because Canaan is the son of Am. And him say, Cursed shall be Canaan in the tents of Shem, him shall live and be a slave. That is how black people now become cursed, according to the Hebrew Bible. Them do have it in the King James Bible, but if you look in at the, the Talmud, you will see these things. Just like if you look at the Mormon Bible, you see them talk about black skin is cursed. So, go back to the story now where Israel become now the 12 tribes of Israel. And the land that Israel is going to occupy now is the land that God give them. This is like this is like Christopher Columbus coming to Jamaica 
and totally ignore the, occup the occupants of Jamaica. Totally ignore the Tainos them. Them come like say nobody never there. And them come stick a flag in the king and queen of Spain name and say this is the land given to them by God. Because these people are say God do this and God do that, you know. When Christopher Columbus come here, him totally ignore the original occupants of the land and then start to kill them off. Well, the same thing now with these people where say it's God give them this land, where it's Canaanites' land. It's not that people wasn't there, you know, the Canaanites was living there. But because the Canaanites was not of the same cultural expression or religious practice and belief like them, them kill off the Canaanites. And the Canaanites have to leave them land and refuge in other lands. And now this land, where it's called the Canaanite land, where God said, I shall give it to you and your generation. Occupy it. No. We're going to flash back to today. This land that is in dispute in the 21st century is the same land that the Jews write in them Bible, write in them Pentateuch. I hope I call the word right. Them writing of them Bible say, is God give them the land? And you can't question that. So you see, uno who in the land, and uno are the occupiers, which really and truly is the same thing Columbus do when him come here. So, and him wipe out the Tainos them. And say, look here, from we reach us, so, that means that God did, de did design it that way there. God decide with destiny. And our destiny leads to Jamaica. And Uno there so. Uno is Edens. Uno is this, Uno is that. Uno no, Uno walk, run up and down naked. Uno no, have no, Uno no believe in a Jesus. Uno never hear about Jesus yet. We're going to kill Uno half. And take the land in the name of the king and queen of, in, of, of Spain. And God, is God send them here so. Read back all of the things them with them write when them come here. So, where, 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 where Bartal, where them call it Bartal and Mew and all these guys will come into Jamaica and the Caribbean islands. Them all of them declare that it's God, is the destiny of God that brought them here. And if it was a wrong thing, God wouldn't did send them here. So, from God send them from them come here, so is God put them here, so. Well, it's the same thing, same reasoning. The, the so-called occupiers of the land that is now called Palestine, that was once called the land of Canaan, that even the Palestinians who call themselves Fidem land, it's still not Fidem land, it's the Canaanites land. But now we cannot really identify the Canaanites because the Canaanites also did have to move south down even into southern Africa. Remnants of the Canaanites exist. If you go into Zimbabwe, you will see remnants of these people who share the same identity and cultural expression like the people them who did own this land where them call Canaan. The land of the Canaanites is the land now called Israel or Palestine. Now, these people take up this book and place themselves in that historical reference point and declare that this land is ours, even though, even though these people who occupy the land that is now called Israel, or call themselves Israelis, came from Russia and Germany. And this land was given to them by the British in the 40s because they were running from persecution, just like the people them, the white people them who left the Isles of British Isles and run come into America because they were running from 
religious persecutions and when them enter into America, call themselves the pilgrims and saw the original indigenous people in America. Them wipe out the people, them kill them and put them on some desert land and say, it's God put them there and it's God send them there so and them take the land by gambling can you imagine a group of people coming to a strange land running from them land because them have some religious war going between Anglicans, Roman Catholics Protestants and all these things and them find refuge in our next man land and even though them see people there, them ignore the people them like the people them not exist. You talk the language? Shuck your pistols, boys. Tell them we are friends. Tell them we come in peace. And decides the boy right now, here we know. We want some land. So here we go we'll get the land now. Ignoring the original inhabitants of the land. So, these people who call themselves Israelis, who's mainly coming from Russia, because when you land in, in Israel, if you declare Judaism, you automatically become a citizen. All you have to say, boy, well, right now, you give credence to Judaism, Moses, laws, this, that, that, you, you know, you, the Torah, this, that, all these things. You automatically become a citizen. So these people, run, come, left, where them coming from, run, come in at the people, them, them come there, them see people there, and them just control the land. And every year, every little decade, them move the people, them, more and more out of them space. Then if you are move the people them out of them space, what do you expect the people them to do? Them going to get vicious because this is them life. This is them family. And for years, and the history shows say you wasn't there. It's you come occupy the thing and talk about say you get it through some declaration rights and through some biblical verses and all these things. You have a right to it because... It's crazy world we're living in. Crazy, crazy world we're living in. It's so the story go. This is not me, I make it up. 